Compensated based on your enrollment. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. This week, we have an opportunity to exercise it, exercise a very important uh, role as business owners, as entrepreneurs. It's time to exercise your right to vote. Remember to vote this Tuesday. Find your polling place, show up, and vote. Let's make sure we have a really good voter turnout this year. We are all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. And business, we talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business. And I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at ShalomKlein.com. And while you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. You can find them at TandemHR.com. Once again, TandemHR.com or call 630-928-0510, 630-928-0510. You could also email them, Simplify at TandemHR.com. It's a live show. We're uh, taking calls with your questions about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. We want to make this week a better week for you. Uh, answer your questions, and we've got some great guests that will uh, be available. Uh, you can call us at 312-642-5600. 312-642-5600. We've got a jam-packed show of content and information that you won't want to miss. It's a live show. Call us, 312 642 5,600. We have CJ Seastat, Pete Sikorsky, Mayor Sherman, and Chris Everett on the show with us today. And at the end of the show, I'm going to be sharing tips for managing your business financial records. You won't want to miss a minute of it. It's a live show. Call us, 312-642-5600. And now, thrilled to have here in studio, we have CJ Seastat, who is going to be talking to us a little bit about something that I think you know a thing or two about, jobs. So, CJ, thanks for joining us on Get Down to Business. Thanks for having me, Shalom. So, CJ, if you don't mind, sort of tell us a little bit about what you do every day and, uh, and, and what you're doing to help businesses attract talent. Well, I'm the, uh, I'm the director of client services for Insight Solutions Group, and we are a 16-year-old company in the Chicago market. We have been doing executive search. Uh, we have the highest retention rate in the IT sector, particularly at 96%. Uh, Talent and talent acquisition in this market is, as you can imagine, a pretty hot topic. Uh, this is, I, I've, I've become affectionately, you no. Know, if you have a problem with your career, I'm the doctor in the family. <laughs> so I, I get a lot of questions. I'm sure you do. The emails, calls, probably family, uh, they're probably not too shy about picking up the phone and talking to you, CJ? Um, my family, no. Uh, but family, friends, I mean, we've, we've got an unemployment problem as we we know we we do. And, uh, CJ, what advice do you have for businesses? Uh, I, I think that the unemployment or the employment problem that we have isn't as much in the traditional sense about people looking for work. It sounds to me that the challenge is actually businesses trying to attract talent. Tell us a little bit about what you think businesses can do to attract good people. Well, first and foremost, uh, there has been, we, there's been, we, we've fallen into some habits uh, from the human resource side. We are kind of running the same old race to attract that top talent. And uh, during many discussions, particularly with uh, older business owners, if you're currently not looking to attract the top talent, we're talking top talent, we're talking Right now, Gen Y, the millennials, mm-hmm. in the next, I, I, I came across a very interesting statistic. In the next uh, 12 to 18 months, they will constitute the largest demographic in the workforce. In the next 12 to 18 months, and in the next 8 to 12 years, they will actually encompass 70% of the entire workforce in the United States. So what I've, I've seen is I've seen a lot of traditional job uh, job ads, not targeting that Gen Y uh, generation, the millennial generation. So what we're, what we're seeing is 
business owners not necessarily let me back up a little bit something that needs to become part of your regular vernacular as a business owner in the Chicago market is relevancy not reputation mm-hmm. and in this market there are a lot of particularly medium-sized business owners and definitely large businesses that rely on reputation and when you're talking to the Gen Y generation or any millennial, they want to know how relevant you are. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't really care. And if you aren't actively right now focusing on attracting that talent, when we're talking top talent, that has to be part of your strategy moving forward. So what can companies do to stand out in attracting Everybody's trying to attract that same, you know, A-level player. Bruce Leon tells me that uh, from Tandem HR all the time. Mm-hmm. He says, looking for those A- A-level people. How can, how can companies attract that A-level people when every other company out there is trying to attract that same group of people as well? Well, I had already said relevancy. How relevant are you in the workplace? Okay. Mm-hmm. Regardless of the workplace and the environment, how relevant are you? Your reputation helps and assists in that. But there's a key word, and this key word is transparency. Transparency in the workplace is becoming the gong that everybody's banging right now. That is, first and foremost, when when you're speaking to the younger generation, you're trying to attract that top talent, transparency has to be rolling off your tongue very often. Interesting, interesting. So, but let let me flip it. Um, for the Gen Yer that's out there, the millennial mm-hmm. that may have just recently graduated from college, really, really uh, talented uh, individual, young man, young woman, uh, but not much of a resume. What should they be doing to to get into that that great company uh, that that hopefully they they won't just be at for a year or two, but hopefully they could start and launch their career. With so many so many different opportunities out there, what should they be looking for? And without the experience, how can they kickstart their professional life? That's that's a great question, and I get that question probably. <laughs> that's that is at the top of my list uh, when when I'm when I'm uh, speaking with and consulting young people, particularly. And this doesn't apply only to young people. When you're a hiring manager or an HR professional, when you're sitting across a desk. From somebody and they are trying to get you to help them figure out what they're supposed to do and they're not target specific from the time they walk in the door I would tell any young person that you have to go in there and be ready to solve that person's problem because that's what they have they, they do I agree with that completely sure so when you're sitting at that desk you have whoever you're hiring this person for behind you saying, I need this position filled. And you'll have 10 people walk into a room. Nine of them will go, well, I'm good at this. I'm a people person. Never say that in an interview. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a people person. I'm a people person. Um, And the person who's going to get the job 10 out of 10 times is the person who comes in, has read the job description, has gone bullet point, point by bullet point, addressed each bullet point, they kind of give you the answers to the test. When you go in for an interview, any young people, it's in the job description. It is. It is. So, CJ, uh, you've got a lot of advice. You've got a lot of, you've got a lot of information, both for employers, as you said, the, the HR problem that exists right now, as well as you've got a lot of advice for, uh, for, for talented uh, young folks that are out there. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit about how people can reach you as well as uh, about your uh, about your company, uh, Inside Talent. Well, we, uh, as I had mentioned, we specialize in uh, C-level executive search. Uh, we have been in the Chicago market, again, for 16 years. Uh, you can reach me at 773-951-8131. Again, that's 773-951-8131. CJ at Insight Talent. Dot com. Easy to at remember. CJ at InsightTalent.com. I would be happy to answer any questions. I am always happy to help those folks who are looking for advice uh, regarding their career. But I wanted to I wanted to get back, Shalom, to uh, to answering that first question you posed. Mm-hmm. I I would recommend any young person knows and knows well specifically how they're going to fix 
that individual who's sitting across the desk from you how you're going to fix their problem not how great you are on this end of the desk and i played college hockey and i was the captain and I was, they don't care they have a problem they need somebody to fill that position go in there know that you're the person that can fill that position and you've done your due diligence and not only researching the job description you've delved deeper you've looked at mm -hmm. the company and you know you're going to fix their problem that's the approach CJ Seastad from Insight Talent has uh, a lot of great advice for uh, for folks out there that are looking for companies seeking to attract talent. You can reach him at CJ at InsightTalent.com. We've got a great lineup of guests that I think will continue to answer that question. Next up on the show, we've got Pete Sikorsky from Get Fresh Produce. Uh, we also have Mayor Sherman, and we have our, our one of our returning guests, Chris Everett of Everett College Funding, and she's going to continue that, that discussion. You're listening to Get Down to Business.